Reed's music is just otherworldly, and I'm so honored to be teaching at the Olabel Reed Virtual Songwriters Retreat this coming Saturday. Um, there's a whole lot of teachers, and I suggest you follow the links in this video to, uh, to find out more about the camp. Uh, it's a great opportunity to expand your songwriting horizons, and uh, I highly encourage that you take part. Um, I'll be talking specifically about two songs that I wrote in the past year. Uh, one was commissioned by ruralorganizing.org in defense of the Postal Service. So I ended up writing a song uh, called A Plea to the U.S. Government to fully fund the Postal Service. And I had some incredible aha moments in that song. Um, I think an even better song that I wrote, I wrote for my friend, Dream of Caldwell. It's awesome to write a song which has ties to political campaigns, but it's particularly awesome to write a song about someone else that you get to meet and know and that also has ties to uh, active, the activist sphere. Anyway, both of those songs were forays into stretching and searching and trying to find the perfect word and using slant rhyme. Slant rhyme is a cool technique I'll talk about. Like for example, uh, one of the verses in my song, The Rise of Dream of Caldwell says, uh, Her kinfolk knew of a bondsman. They found a way to post bail. She went home in exchange for a mound of debt. On the surface, bail and debt don't sound like they would rhyme, but slant them and it makes it work. Bail, debt, it works. So I'll talk about that and then I'll talk about how sometimes a word will show up when you thought there was no word. Like for example, uh, he takes great pleasure exacting what they cannot afford. I could not find the right word for asking for, demanding. He takes great pleasure demanding what they cannot afford. Demanding didn't sound right. So I'll talk about how sometimes a word doesn't sound right. It doesn't work because it just doesn't work, even though me the meaning works. Sometimes the meaning works, but you got to be more critical. The sound doesn't work. So there's things to talk about there. Um, so I'm just going to use uh, those two songs as a means of explaining my own songwriting process, and hopefully you'll get something out of it. I'll end this little uh, video presentation with a snippet from The Rise of Dream, of Cal uh, Dream of Caldwell. In a place where the biggest crooks get off scot free. Hard working mama went weak and the knees. 40,000 cash bill and outlandish decree. The escorting officer startled as well. He said, Your man, 